The Nation's Restaurant News Power List is our look at the most influential and innovative people in the restaurant industry today. We are looking for diverse change agents. These people are redefining the restaurant industry. This year, the list is more varied than ever. We're covering digital innovators, chefs that are turning the tables on cuisine, leaders that are thinking about bigger things than business, and those driving a very healthy M&A market. All the editors submit who they think should be on the list and why. This part can take a while. The content team then votes as a group on the final 50. There's even a secret ballot to rank the top 10. Our audience loves this list, and it's one of our favorite projects of the year as well. We search high and low to find real game changers in the restaurant industry today. This year we're covering McDonald's, Steve Easterbrook, Mariel Del Perro and Ellen Chen from Mendocino Farms. We're looking at franchisees like Greg Flynn and Guillermo Perales. We're even looking outside of the restaurant industry to see who's shaking things up, like Mary Kay Henry and the Fight for 15, or Gus Lopez, who's looking to bring restaurant delivery to the internet giant Amazon. Julia Stewart, the 2015 Mufso Operator of the Year, is back on the list and in the top 10. Newcomers include delivery disruptors, Preha Shop and DoorDash, and Holger Ludorf of Postmates. This year, we wanted to take a hard look at tastemakers. We wanted to infuse a culinary spirit into this year's report at a time when a customer's relationship with food is changing rapidly. I don't think anybody could have predicted 20 years ago how important food would become to American culture. Compiling a list of the country's top tastemakers uh, was a daunting challenge. Some choices were obvious like Thomas Keller, who continues to be the godfather of fine dining and is a mentor to so many of the country's best chefs, uh, or David Chang, who introduced Asian cuisines to a whole new segment of the population and continues to redefine what it means to be a chef. Uh, we also have Sean Brock, who's rehabilitating nearly lost breeds of seeds and animals, and he also makes the best fried chicken I've ever had. We have Anthony Bourdain, who uh, reaches a wide audience and continues to celebrate the world's different ethnic cuisines. And also Roy Choi, who got the food truck movement going and now continues to innovate with his restaurants in Los Angeles. I'm also glad to have less obvious choices like Amanda Cohen, who's way ahead of her time in not just offering vegetarian cuisine, but in completely celebrating it with her restaurant, Dirt Candy. Ranking the top 10 of the power list is hard enough, but getting down to that number one spot is next to impossible. This year, the number one and number two ranks were neck and neck, but we chose Danny Meyer, CEO of Union Square Hospitality Group and the founder of Shake Shack as our number one most powerful, most influential restaurant executive today. All eyes are on Danny Meyer right now. He's facilitating conversations from Wall Street to Main Street. Shake Shack went public in a deal valued at $1 billion. He decided to end tipping at all of his full service restaurants here in New York. These are conversations the restaurant industry is following like never before. He's influential, he's powerful, and he's innovative. Danny Meyer is our number one pick for the power list.